Yo, good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. So today we're gonna be talking about identity services on the blockchain. And there are indeed a few projects out there like Self Key, The Key, and the original Gangster Civic. But we are going to talk about the new kid on the block, the Bridge Protocol, which is on my favorite blockchain, NEO. The Bridge Protocol is an open distributed network of trusted machines and users promoting behaviors, standards, and enforcement mechanisms to provide real-world value and application. The system facilitates an ability for users to deploy business processes that comply to existing standards and regulations. Identity and proving who you are is a hot topic in the crypto industry, especially with governments getting involved. Private businesses and legal groups are aiming to create standards of procedures for an initial coin offering, or ICO. And they're trying to define the right way to transact between participants and token issuers. The Bridge team and their consulting experience with Project ICO have noted concepts that would benefit from having a token sale, but are prevented due to financial obstacles and lack of knowledge. The existing legal group's processing expertise in the space can charge $125,000 to $250,000 for corporate structuring and general counsel for upcoming token sales. Though these firms are aiming to create a higher standard, I believe it has done the opposite and created unnecessary cost barriers, restricted many entrepreneurs, and lined attorneys' pockets. Damn attorneys. So the bridge is aiming to solve this by creating a platform of identity services that will make the process much easier. So let's do what Chico Crypto does best and let's dive into the bridge protocol technology. The bridge protocol is implementing a microservices architecture for business applications that use the blockchain for management of activities relating to smart contracts, services, and general logic processing on its own network. A microservices-based architecture will promote continuous development of applications available on the protocol and consistently enhancing service granularity to a provide a robust marketplace for businesses. Through this principle, Bridge will create an environment where cross-blockchain interface development can take place and be rapidly deployed, modular, and trusted. The protocol is designed to provide identification services that have high assurance, portability, and a broad application scenario. The NEO blockchain has been chosen for its observance of existing standards and the development potential it offers. The bridge is establishing a public key infrastructure for its user base. The NEO blockchain will support a set of Internet Engineering Task Force X.509 compatible digital identity standards, as well as provide a blockchain-based online certificate status protocol to manage and record the X.509 Certificate Revocation List, CRL. The Bridge Protocol will contribute to the development and further these efforts by implementing a certification path validation algorithm to build the trust network through intermediate authorities so business applications can be realized on a vast scale. The Bridge Identity Management System, BIMS, will issue certificate observant to the X.509 formatting standards while providing extensions, application policies, key usage, and then others to allow for application logic to be developed and utilized in process run on the bridge's blockchain. These certificates will be issued for use by real persons, machines, and virtual persons. So the BIMS provides interfacing for personal identity verification compatible hardware platforms and it allows for application integration and use in microservices provided throughout the marketplace. The Bridge Protocol provides a bring your own key interface to allow for user ownership of keys, data, and processes. These methods will allow for wider adoption of the network for both individuals and organizations. There will be a focus on commercial off-the-shelf hardware encryption modules and it opens the networks and its services at a cost point much lower than traditional offerings. 
Merging with existing infrastructure is also possible and encouraged through this approach. Bridge will aim to reduce legal costs and improve verification assurance. This will occur through the digitalization of compliance standards for deployment in ICOs. A bridge certificate will be created and users will begin network integration by selecting a preferred verifier service in the bridge marketplace. The company storefront will offer its first microservice for KYC process integration in the NEO smart economy. Bridge tiers will be comprised of non-sensitive and vague user traits that will be sufficient for KYC compliance while not being uniquely identifiable to individuals. Not only will identity be tiered and sensitive information kept off the chain, but Bridge will give users power to securely transact with their own encryption when necessary. Tier 1 includes information like the name, address, date of birth, payment behavior, email. Tier 2 will include all Tier 1 items that will require more sensitive information like social security number, driver's license, passport, or government trusted identification. The BIMS will be able to process basic information about an identity, i.e. the user over 18, how old, country of origin. This is all done to ensure sensitive information is never seen. So Tier 3 is a special or accredited investor status. So these are participants that are purchasing offerings that only sell security tokens or using SAFT for accredited investors will want to receive this tier. Bridge verifiers will process documents from attorneys and or CPAs to verify the accredited status. Credentials will expire unless recertified every three months in this tier. Now, the bridge is getting very close to their MVP release and they get the question, why not just use a server database for all this? With traditional databases, they use a client server network. This allows a client permission to modify, write, and change what is stored on a central server. Control is given by the party that verifies their credentials for access. Single party handling administration is no good because when authority is compromised, data can be altered. The bridge will be using blockchain databases for the fact that public verifiability is enabled and they are asking to trust them to issue your bridge ID and secure your metadata. They will verify your identity and then classify you as cleared in the system while never holding anything personal in a database. Once you are cleared, you can use your ID as you please with your wallet while protecting sensitive information from the bad actors. The ID management system is like nothing available today and puts Bridge one step ahead of similar platforms like Civic. The tokens of the Bridge have been rebranded from the I am tokens to the Toll tokens, and they are tradable on two exchanges as of right now, Bitpack Nation and the one I would recommend, Switchio.network. The price is seriously ripe right now, trading at just half of a penny. You could easily get yourself a solid position without a terribly high investment. Of course, there is risk, and that is why do your own research and then make the decision. Well, thanks for watching, viewers, and as always, I will see you tomorrow.